to the mindset that I want you to bring to this week, if inshallah you're attending the entire week, is I just want you to give yourself to this surah. When you're here and when you're not here, you're just in it. This is your world for the next week. And this is, I'm telling you this because that's what I'm doing. My mind is engrossed inside of this surah every single day. And this week, I'm just, I'm diving in. This is my world. And this is a, a really beautiful thing to do. Like it's, I, I see it as, you know, Allah, Allah describes his, his ayat in one place in the Quran. He describes them as risalati rabbi, letters or messages from my master. I think of it as Allah has written me personally a letter. He's given me this personal message. And I'm going to do everything I can to immerse myself in every word and everything I can get out of this message. It's valuable to me. I'm not going to underestimate it and say, oh, I've read a letter like this one before. Oh, I've heard that one before. I will under I'm coming at it with fresh eyes and with humility. That's one thing I want from you, to, to get the most out of what we're going to do. The second thing I want you to do is to realize that this is, in fact, every surah is a treasure for myself personally, not for anyone else. It's not, Allah didn't give this for tafsir scholars. Allah didn't give this for linguists. Allah didn't give this for experts. Allah didn't give this for people that have a microphone attached to them. Allah gave this for every believer. And in fact, by extension, every human being. And so if I am lucky enough, I'm fortunate enough to know that Allah has given me this message, then I'm going to treasure these words, right? I'm going to be focused on them and give myself to them, which then leads me to the next bit of advice giving yourself to the surah. Every Muslim, and I've met quite a few Muslims, we all have questions. And you're just itching to get your questions answered. So we could be talking about anything. And when you get, you guys have done your share of lectures, right? And at the end of lectures is a question answer session. And 99.9% .9 of the time, the questions at the end of a lecture, do they have to do with the lecture or no? They don't. And I actually sympathize. That's because most of the time we're talking about things that people can't relate to. And that's why they're asking questions that are actually relevant to their life. So instead of getting mad at the audience, why are you asking that question? Uh, maybe we should be paying attention to the fact that those are the unanswered questions. Maybe it's, it should be the other way around, right? But I'm going to bring that back the other way now. You may have lots of curiosities about lots of things in Islam. And you might find this as an opportunity to think about those questions or get a chance to ask that question. Like some of my favorites, I wrote some of them down. What time should Elon Musk do iftar from the moon? And when is Maghrib on Mars? <laughs> uh, you may have more interesting questions than those. The point is, this week, let Allah be the one to ask the questions. This week, let your questions go. Just let them go. And the only questions I should have and the only questions you should have is what is this ayah telling me? What am I getting from this? What is Allah giving me here? What do I benefit from this? In what way will my life be, be illuminated by what Allah is saying? You understand? And this is the attitude that changes the way we even question, ask our questions about our religion. You know what I've experienced? I used to have, before I started studying the Quran, I used to have a lot of questions about a lot of things in the religion. Philosophical questions, legal questions, fiqh, you name it. And then I decided to just let my questions go for a little bit and just study the Quran. Just let Allah be the one that decides what I should think about, what I should wonder about, what I should be curious about. And you know what happened in my personal life? All of my questions disappeared. Either they got answered in a way by Allah, without me even asking, that nobody could have answered. Or the I realized how irrelevant the question was. I just realized that, because Allah sets priorities too, right? Allah changes our priorities too. So that's, the, that's my request from all of you, to get the most out of this week, is to actually surrender ourselves to the surah, give the most to it, even outside of these discussions. I want you to read contemplate, think about what it is that Allah is saying in this incredible surah. So that's the, the, the opening comments.